Hi, this is Dr. Kanan Kumar from Spire Clinic, Bangalore. Today, I'm going to be discussing a little bit about uh, something we call as dense cell tumor of the distal radius. This is a very common tumor, but it is benign, but it is aggressive. That is, it grows very rapidly in the bone. It very rarely spreads to other parts of the body like cancer, but um, it is very locally aggressive and destroys the bone quite a bit. It is frequently seen around the knee and also seen around the wrist. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about what we have been doing around the wrist and uh, uh, the publication that we have made with uh, regards to this condition. It's a little more common than in women than in men. It's very locally aggressive and it's so named because of its microscopic appearance. So it's called a giant cell tumor because there are some there are few giant cells with multiple nuclei in the histological or the microscopic appearance of these tumors. How do they present? Usually they are women in their 20s, 30s and 40s. They present with pain and swelling in the wrist and uh, the bone is uh, weakened gradually and uh, the bone may also be fractured and there may be a lot of pain. So this is a picture showing an expansile large lesion of the um, uh, bone at the level of the wrist and uh, the cortex is breached and the bone is broken through and causes pain. So these kind of lesions, even though they are benign, and non-cancerous, they are not salvageable because the bone is not of good quality. There's a high chance of recurrence if we maintain the bone cortical shell. So we have to find new and innovative ways to uh, treat these conditions. So what we have been doing is uh, something called as vascularized ulnar transposition and ulnoscaphalunic fusion. And uh, this technique preserves some motion of the wrist, number one and to pre uh, preserve the rotation of the forearm, which is lost in um, other kinds of procedures. And we don't take any bone graft from any other part of the body. And therefore, it is a less morbid and um, a better procedure for patients to recover easily from. So what we basically do is we take out uh, the tumor uh, in total, along with about one or two centimeters of uh, normal bone. So once we take out the bone, the illustration on the right side shows uh, what happens and the defect that is left back. Then we transfer the ulna along with its vascular supply to the uh, uh, defect. We fix the upper end or the proximal end with a plate and the distal end or the uh, lower end with K wires and fuse it to the uh, bones of the carpus or the wrist. So this procedure, as I said, has two advantages. It gives a little bit of, uh, maintains a little bit of range of motion and um, also no morbidity while recovering bone from other parts of the body. So we have uh, published this in techniques in hand and upper extremity journal uh, in, with a series of five cases. And we have demonstrated this procedure in multiple patients with good outcomes. So, this is our technique of uh, managing these difficult uh, uh, giant cell tumors of the distal radius. Uh, this is one of the techniques that is useful in managing these uh, conditions. Thank you very much. Again, uh, my name is Dr. Kanan Kumar. I'm a consultant hand and upper extremity surgeon uh, working in Bangalore. Thank you very much.